Here's a question. What pair of speakers require no receiver? Are PC ready? TV ready? HDMI ready? Turntable ready? Subwoofer ready? Compatible with your smartphone? Support Bluetooth wireless connectivity? And simple to set up? What's up everyone? My name is Elon Osborne and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. And today I'll be reviewing The Fives, the powered monitors by Klipsch. Gesundheit. Thank you. So without further ado... What's in the box? Here is a box. Open. 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 Reading. Batteries. So many cables. Power cord. USB cable. HDMI. 4-pin high-quality audio cable. Remote. Buy styrofoam. High speaker. This isn't sped up at all. Ta-da! The fives come in at 12 inches high, 6.5 inches wide, 9.25 inches deep. Their frequency response reaches down to 50 hertz and goes up to 25 kilohertz. They have a total max output of 109 decibels with a total system power output of 160 decibels. Each speaker has the signature Klipsch Tractrix horn loaded one inch tweeter paired with a 4.5 inch high excursion fiber composite cone woofer. The enclosure material is MDF with a genuine wood veneer that comes in matte black or walnut. The included magnetic removable grill is wrapped in textured woven cloth. On top are the two vintage looking metal rotary dials to adjust volume and choose your source input. On the back is a Tractrix rear firing base reflex port and connections galore! With an internal phono preamp built in, these unbalanced RCA inputs can accommodate both a turntable with or without its own preamp. And this switch lets you choose between those two types. There's a 3.5 millimeter aux input to connect a smartphone for example, sub out to connect a subwoofer if you so choose, optical input, USB input to connect a PC or laptop, HDMI input which supports ARC, left right toggle switch to specify if this speaker is on the left or right of your sound stage, pairing button, and ground to make sure your turntable is grounded. Towards the bottom we have not just your average speaker wire binding posts, but a high quality four pin conductor audio port which connects to the other speaker via the included four conductor speaker cable, which has spinning lock washers for a toy connection. I mean, come on, what soundbar has that many connections? None. Set up. To use them like a soundbar, plug in the included HDMI cable into the HDMI input in the back, then make sure to plug the other end into the HDMI port labeled ARC on your TV. If your TV is a bit older and doesn't have ARC, that's what the optical input is for, aka Toslink. But if HDMI is your jam, then make sure your TV's audio output is set to ARC and you should be in business. If you do have ARC on your TV, these speakers are HDMI CEC enabled, which allows you to adjust the main volume using your TV remote. And if these speakers are connected to your TV, since you're just creating a stereo soundstage, within your TV settings, be sure that the output is set to PCM audio to make sure you're hearing everything. And if you have a subwoofer lying around waiting to be used, I'd highly recommend using one with this system if you're going to have it connected to your TV, including wireless subs, like the one that came with my Klipsch reference theater pack, for example. I just wanted to test this theory, so I decided to plug in the transmitter into the sub out and boom, some big old bass filled my living room. But backtracking to that remote control I mentioned, it's pretty simple and easy to navigate with a power button, play and pause button, main volume up and down, subwoofer level up and down, mute, sub reset, and your various input selections. One kind of hidden feature that the fives have is dynamic bass EQ. It allows for greater bass extension even at lower volumes, if that's what you're into. Simply just hold down the sub reset button on the remote for three seconds, which will then cause the source LED to blink twice, indicating dynamic bass EQ is on. If you decide it's not something you're into, simply hold the sub reset button again for three seconds, causing the source LED to flash once, disabling dynamic bass EQ. These speakers do support the Klipsch Connect app 
Although one disappointing thing about the app is that it doesn't allow for additional EQ adjustments. It's really no more than a resource center, mirroring what the setup guide goes over anyway. The T52 True Wireless Earphones, for example, utilize Eclipse Connect as a means to tailor any EQ adjustments to your liking, either choosing one of the many presets or customizing the EQ settings to what you like. So it was just a bit of a bummer that I couldn't dial in particular frequencies to my taste and I had to just let the fives be the fives and be okay with that. Moving on, if you're one to think that wires are the devil incarnate, then here's how to connect the fives via Bluetooth. Turn the input rotary dial to Bluetooth, which causes the source LED to blink slowly. First, either hold down the Bluetooth button on the remote or the pair button on the back of the primary speaker for a total of three seconds. This will put it into discovery mode as indicated by the source LED blinking at a more rapid pace. Go to your smartphone settings app, Bluetooth, and as you can see, Klipsch the fives is now an option. So go ahead and tap it and boom, connected. Now y'all are wondering, how do they sound? For a pair of powered speakers that are under $1,000, Klipsch knocked it out of the park. The fives provide a robust stereo field in the home theater application, as well as clarity you'd expect from Klipsch in a hi-fi stereo music application. Dialogue came through nice and crisp in home theater application as well as vocals in music listening. Although not as bright as one might expect from Klipsch, but still clear nonetheless. My go-to test scene for movies lately is the racing scene from Ready Player One. And with a subwoofer paired with the system, it surpassed any soundbar in its class despite being only a 2.1 channel system. These speakers are in fact internally bi amp so the fantastic separation between highs and lows competes with speakers hundreds of dollars more. But the fives aren't supposed to blow you away with their sound quality, even though it is stellar. No, what blows every other speaker out of the water at this price point is the versatility. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, but under $1,000, these are the only powered monitors you can buy that have an HDMI input. As far as sound quality alone, the Kef LSX wireless speakers are better. And while the Kefs have plenty of connection options, including Wi-Fi, which the Fives unfortunately do not, you'll have to spend not a thousand, not two thousand, but twenty-five hundred dollars if you want HDMI added to that list of connections, like with the Kef LS50 Wireless 2 system. Well, why don't I just get a soundbar, Mr. Smarty Pants? You're right, you could, but then you're limited to a soundstage as big as the bar. Having the flexibility of making the soundstage as narrow or as wide as you want is a huge plus. So with that versatility, plugging in a turntable, plugging in a computer or a laptop, plugging in an older TV without ARC via TOSLINK, plugging in a newer TV with HDMI ARC, connecting a smartphone via Bluetooth, pairing it with a subwoofer, no soundbar can give you that flexibility. And the only other competitor to give you the same amount of connection options is more than twice as much. The five? They're in a league all their own. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this review of the fives from Klipsch. I know I enjoyed making this video, so... Are the fives on your home theater or hi-fi wish list now? Let me know in the comments below. Please remember to be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening. Thank <laughs> you.